Hello, 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 Facebook. How's everybody doing? Come on into the broadcast. This is Dr. Melva. We are broadcasting live today from Chesapeake, Virginia, from the school open house night. So I'm at the elementary school. <laughs> I gotta be a few minutes late for the program, but I have to deliver some good tips for you. Today we're talking about getting your digestive tract back on track, cancer related side effects to the GI system like nausea. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Those of you just joining, I'm Dr. Melva. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in. We're broadcasting live today from Chesapeake, Virginia. And it is Thursday, September 21st. Thursday, September 21st. Make sure I'm standing where you can see me and that I'm not exposing anyone else walking by. <laughs> just coming to a child's open house. All right, welcome aboard, welcome aboard. I'm Dr. Melva. I'm your board certified radiation oncologist. And I help people that have been diagnosed with cancer, navigate the cancer care system, coordinate their care, understand side effects through my video speaking and second opinion consult service. I help them to live a excellent, wonderful, abundant life in spite of the diagnosis of cancer. You can find me right here on facebook.com forward slash Melva. Actually, Facebook.com forward slash doctor, spelled out D-O-C-T-O-R-M-E-L-V-A. All right, come on into the broadcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see what the time is. I don't want to be too late for the, you know, the class breakaway sections. For anybody who needs tips on nausea related to cancer treatments, check this out. Please share. Sharing is caring. All right, so we are talking about getting your digestive track back on track, Okay. A few tips for coping with cancer-related GI problems, a.k.a. nausea and vomiting. All right, so that is a really common side effect of a lot of cancer treatments, um, to have nausea feelings where you feel sick to your stomach or vomiting where your food's coming back up. Welcome. Hi, Monica. Thanks so much for joining the broadcast. Welcome. Today we're talking about tips for nausea and vomiting related to cancer care. So... When you're sick to your stomach and you're throwing foods up, it makes it very difficult to get really, really good nutrition into your system. And on top of that, it just sucks to feel nauseated, right? Um, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks so much for joining. So the first treatment, which most people recommend, are anti-nausea medications. You can talk to your doctor about which ones they prefer, what they think will work for you. Um, there's several different anti-nausea anti-nausea medications. Um, but let's talk a little bit more today. I like to focus on what we can do with nutrition, okay? So I have a list for you, just looking at my notes here. Again, welcome to the broadcast. This is Dr. Melva, your board-certified radiation oncologist. We're broadcasting live from Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm at the open house outside, so if I keep looking around, it's uh, if they're looking for me to come in. So we're going to do this real quick and then head on in um, for my four, fourth graders class. All right, so some nutrition tips for you if you're experiencing nausea or vomiting related to your cancer treatment. And that could be from chemotherapy, radiation treatment, and anywhere in the GI tract, your stomach, etc. So first, small, frequent meals of foods that your body can break down and digest really easily is the first tip. So instead of eating three square large meals a day, you can break it down. For example, you can have crackers, a really common go-to, pudding, um, yogurt, sherbet is good, fruit, rice, baked chicken, uh, small sandwiches, oatmeal, or broth-based soups, and you can add anything that's not really strong to that to help you when your stomach is not feeling very good. Now, there's certain spices that we want to stay away from, okay? Certain spices that, um, some of the spices that you can tell, any food that you're cooking that has a really, really strong smell or strong aroma when you're cooking it, it's probably not a good combination if you're having nausea or vomiting from cancer-related treatment. Okay, um, let's talk about some spices that are also considered to be stomach soothers that make you feel good. So a couple ones, and you know, let me know you're here if you're getting good feedback from this. Again, this is Dr. Melva, and we're talking about tips for coping with nausea and vomiting related to cancer treatments. Okay, so some good spices to help you out for nausea. Okay, ginger. 
that's a go-to. That was a go-to for a lot of people I know during pregnancy. It's found naturally in a lot of different foods. Cinnamon is another good one for nausea. Allspice is another good one. Cardamom, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Someone correct me if you use cardamom a lot. Cloves, fennel, mint. You have to be careful with mint, though. Some people are a little sensitive to mint, especially if you're getting radiation to your head, neck area. That may irritate a little bit. So just, you know, use these with caution and, and think about how it applies to your particular cancer. Um, so these are good spices. So let me go over the spices again. So ginger, cinnamon, allspice, cardamom, cloves, fennel, and mint are all considered stomach smoothers. Okay, and then we said that we want to avoid cooking foods that have really, really strong aromas, and then stay away from any spicy or greasy foods. And we all know where to find those, right? <laughs> all right, is this helping? Is this helping? Okay, and one more tip, which I'm not an expert in, but I will refer you to someone who is, if you want more information about this, you can check out Dr. Sam Price, S-A-M-M Price, P-R-Y-C-E. Um, she's a naturopathic uh, physician that bridges uh, naturopathic and allopathic medicines together. And there's something called acupressure bands. And they're usually used for motion sickness, but they have also been found to help with cancer-related nausea. So they stimulate, and again, I'm not an expert in this, but they stimulate an acupuncture point that practitioners believe can help stop nausea and vomiting. So you've probably seen those before that you can put on your wrist um, to, help, to help with motion sickness, but can also help with nausea and vomiting from cancer. All right, thank you so much for everybody uh, to join today. Again, uh, I am broadcasting live from Chesapeake, Virginia from the open house. I'm outside during the introduction part, so I have to scoot on in there. But I wanted to come to you today and review a couple tips. So just to go through it again, I'm Dr. Melva, your board-certified radiation oncologist. If you're getting value from this, let me know. Please share because sharing is caring. And there is someone who is going through cancer treatments that is nauseated and vomiting and they need some tips to get through that. Okay, so the first tip, these are tips to get your GI tract back on track. <laughs> the first tip is that there are anti-nausea medications that you can talk with your doctor about to make sure you're not allergic to anything and any medications and see what works best for you. But there are also nutrition tips. I need you to sit back down, buddy. Okay, my kids are getting a little restless here. So, all right, so some nutrition things, small meals, small frequent meals instead of large meals. We talked about uh, spices, stay away from strong aromas or greasy foods, and then their acupressure bands. All right, that was a quick summary. I'm Dr. Melba, your board-certified radiation oncologist. You can find me right here on facebook.com forward slash doctor, D-O-C-T-O-R-M-E-L-V-A. Thank you so much for joining the live broadcast today. If you have any questions, drop them below, and I will get to them after the open house. Bye.